Hi everyone, this is Josie with First the Coffee Crochet. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to make the Turquoise Lakes Crochet Shawl. Now this is a rectangular shaped shawl, and the finish size is 60 inches long by 23 and a half inches wide. To make this shawl, you'll need 910 yards of a number 4 medium weight yarn. For this particular pattern, I used the new Karen Blossom Cakes in the color Caribbean Sea, and it used almost two full cakes of that yarn. You'll also need two hooks for this pattern. It starts off making the foundation chain with an 8mm hook, and then the rest of the pattern is done using a 7mm hook. You'll also need yarn needles and scissors. This is a diagram for the stitch pattern. The stitches used are the single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, and double triple crochet. And we'll go over how to do all of these in this pattern tutorial. And the main part of the pattern is a five row repeat, and it's for rows four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this is repeated a total of 24 times. And the initial chains of the rows do not count as stitches in this pattern. So we will be starting all rows on the first stitch. If you wanted to change the width of this, it would be a repeat of 20 stitches. And that goes from the space after a single crochet to the last single crochet of a wave. As the pattern's written, it is a three time multiple. And the formula for the multiple is 20 plus 13, with that 13 being these end stitches combined here, plus one for the turning chain. And the written pattern along with the graphics are available on my website, and I will leave a link for that down in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started on this pattern. Okay, to start the pattern, we're gonna be using the eight millimeter crochet hook to make our foundation chain. So the starting foundation chain is 74 chains. You can adjust the size by adding 20 stitches to the foundation chain. And the chain will look a little bit wonky because we are using such a big hook just to start off with. Okay, once we've completed the foundation chain, you'll swap out your hook for the seven millimeter. Now we'll be going into the back bump of the chain. So usually a lot of times you'll see people going into this top part. When we turn it over, you'll see these ridges going down the middle of each chain. So this is the first bump and that's the second one. That's the one we'll be starting in. We're just going to do a single crochet into that. So just insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. Just do that in each chain going down the foundation chain, and that'll give you a total of 73 stitches for row one. For rows two and three, both are half double crochets, just all the way across. So you'll chain one, turn your work. This does not count as an initial stitch, so we'll be starting in this first stitch here. I'm doing a half double crochet, so just yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And then just do that in each stitch all the way across the row. And repeat that again for row three. Okay, so the rest of the pattern is just a repeat of five different rows. It's rows four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now obviously right now I'm a little further into the pattern, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So you would be starting at row four after you've just finished the two rows of half double crochets, you chain two, and then turn your work. What I'm gonna do for this tutorial is go through both of these wave rows 
entirely from start to finish so you can see how it's done. And I'll be sure to put chapter marks in here so you can skip ahead if you'd like to. So this initial chain does not count as a stitch. And we'll be starting in this first stitch here. So you'll be doing a double crochet. So just yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through the last two. Do another double crochet in the next stitch. Now we're going to chain one, skip a stitch, and then in this next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet. Chain one again, skip another stitch, do a single crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, and then the next do a single crochet, chain one, skip the stitch, then in the next one do a half double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, do a double crochet. Chain one, skip another stitch, and then in the following one, do a triple crochet. So you're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more, and then yarn over and pull through the last two. Then we're going to chain one again, skip a stitch, and then we're going to do a double triple crochet. So that's going to be yarn over three times. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and that'll give you five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two again, yarn over and pull through two more, and yarn over and pull through the last two. So chain one, we skip a stitch, and we do another double triple crochet here. Chain one, skip a stitch, and now we'll be going back down in the wave pattern. So we'll be doing a triple crochet. Chain one, skip one, then do a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, then do a half double crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a single crochet. Chain one, skip one, do another single crochet. And we chain one, skip one. We're going back up in the wave now, so we'll be increasing with a half double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one, triple crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, double triple crochet. Chain one, Skip one, another double triple crochet. Chain one, skip one. Now we're going back down again, so it's a triple crochet. Chain one, skip one, then do a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a half double crochet. Then we chain one, skip one, single crochet. Chain one, skip another stitch and do another single crochet. Chain one, and now we're going to be going back up again. So we're increasing again, going back up to a half double crochet. 
chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one, triple crochet, chain one, skip one, double triple crochet, chain one, skip one, do another double triple crochet, chain one, skip one, triple crochet, chain one, skip one, do a double crochet, chain one, skip one, do a half double crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one, and then another single crochet, then we chain one, we skip one, do a half double crochet, then we should have three stitches left on here, so you're going to chain one, you're going to skip this one, and then you're going to do a double crochet in each of these last two. Okay, so for row five, we're going to do single crochets all the way across. So we're chaining one, turning our work, and again, this doesn't count as a stitch, so we'll be starting in this first one. Do a single crochet there. And then this row is just a repeat of a single crochet and a stitch. And then a single crochet in the chain space. Single crochet in the stitch single crochet in the chain space. Just do this all the way across until you have the last two stitches left in the row. Okay. At the end of the row you'll have these last two double crochet stitches here, so we're just going to do a single crochet in each of those. And then for row six we're going to go into doing the second wave row. So you'll chain two, turn your work, so with the second wave row, you can see down here, it's basically just doing the opposite of the previous wave row, where we had the double triple, the singles are up here. And where the double triple are here, the singles are down here. So once again, this doesn't count as a stitch, so we'll be starting in this first stitch. Do a double crochet. In that first stitch and in the second stitch. Then we're chaining one, we're skipping the next stitch, and then in this stitch we're going to be doing a triple crochet. Then we're chaining one again, skipping a stitch, and then we're going to do a double triple crochet. Chain one again, skip one, do another double triple crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a triple crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a half double crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a single crochet. Chain 
chain one, skip one, do another single crochet, chain one, skip one, do a half double crochet, chain one, skip one, do a double crochet, chain one, skip one, do a triple crochet, We chain one, skip one, do a double triple crochet, we chain one, skip one, do another double triple crochet. Then we chain one, skip one, do a triple crochet. Then we chain one, skip one, do a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a half double crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a single crochet. Chain one, skip one, do another single crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a half double crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a double crochet. Chain one, Skip one, do a triple crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a double triple crochet. Chain one, skip one, do another double triple crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a triple crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a single crochet. And chain one, skip one, do another single crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a half double crochet. And chain one, skip one, do a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, do a triple crochet. Then we chain one, skip one, and we do a double triple crochet. We chain one, we skip one, and then we do another double triple crochet. So we chain one, we skip one, and then we do a triple crochet. And then we chain one, we skip one, and then we'll have two stitches left here. So we do a double crochet in each of those last two stitches. Now for row seven, we'll be doing half double crochet. 
So you'll chain one and turn your work. And then we'll be starting in this first stitch here. So you'll do a half double crochet. And just like that row of single crochets between the two waves, you'll be doing one half double crochet in a stitch and one in a chain space. And we'll be doing that all the way across. So just one in a stitch, one in the chain space. You do that all the way across the row until you have the last two remaining stitches in the row left. Okay, once you have the two stitches left in the row, just go ahead and put a half double crochet in each of those. And then for row eight, it's just again half double crochets all the way across. So you'll just chain one, turn your work, do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way across starting in that first stitch. And after you finish this row of half double crochets, starting in row nine, you will start doing the repeat of rows four through eight again, and you'll repeat this 23 more times to get the length of 60 inches. And once you've completed your last repeat of rows four through eight, you'll have two rows of your half double crochets here. And the last row that you'll put onto this is just a row of single crochets. So you'll just chain one and turn your work and start in this first stitch and then just do single crochets all the way across. And once you complete this row, you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends and enjoy your new shawl. And thanks for watching and if you like these tutorials please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified each time a new one comes out.